Hi, I hope you're doing well. In this video here, I'll be disassemble an MSI laptop. This model here is MS16K2. Try to show it to you. The model here is this. Okay, so um, the laptop here, what happened is that um, the battery is not holding the charge. Um, so it only lasted maybe about 20 minutes from 100% and all the way drain down to zero in about 20 minutes. So the battery is not holding the charge and also the fan is making a loud noise, mean, meaning that the fan is, the blade on the fan is grinding uh, on the side of the, the plate so you can hear that grinding sound on the fan. So I'll, I'll be replacing the fan and also the battery but since I'm taking it apart, I'll just call the video as a full disassemble. Uh, you get to see the motherboard, the hard drive, the battery and the fan removal in this video. Okay, so let's get started. Um, I just wanted to say that I use this magnetic mat. So all the screws, um, I can align them accordingly as I remove them so that when I put it back together I know where the screws are and it can help me easily to put uh, things in, in, in the order. So I think this mat to me is really helpful and also I can use the marker and draw um, the screws accordingly where, the, where it's coming from the laptop. Um, besides that the computer is very straightforward you just need a Phillips screwdriver uh, maybe some plastic prying tool other than that uh, let's get started all right so flip it around uh, there might be some missing screws here but yeah so that's not a big deal I mean uh, you get to see where most of the screws are and uh, just remove them accordingly, okay? It looks like some of the screws are still uh, stick onto the back plate, they're not coming right off uh, but that's okay because later when you remove the back plate, the screw would just come right out. It's more concerned about where you want to make sure you have the screw in the right place for the motherboard. Uh, but the back plate here, they are pretty much all the same. Okay, so it doesn't matter where you mix, mix match the screws. Looks like I have most of the back plate. Um, let's get loosened up here. So all right, that's one last screw. Okay, that's how you remove the back plate. Let me readjust my camera. Make sure that you guys get a better view on this. Okay, sorry about that. Uh, I just got to readjust the camera. Okay, so let, let me walk you through. As you can see, um, the fan here is pretty dusty. And this one spins okay. And this one is kind of uh, stiff. When you spin, it's supposed to be smooth. And this one is stops right away when I spin it. So more likely, I will need to replace the entire fan here. Uh, this one looks okay. And of course, you need to dust it up later. 
Um, in general, as you can see, the this is the uh, the motherboard, um, and the battery here is at the bottom, and I can tell the battery is kind of swell, meaning it's swollen, uh, it's bulging, right? So that indicates the battery is not holding the charge. It's time for replacement. All right. So first thing first, go ahead and disconnect the battery. All right. The battery doesn't have any screws that holds on to it. It's more like a double uh, double adhesive tape. Let's tape one to it. So once you remove, put it on the side, we'll be replacing this. Okay, so you get more exposure here. The hard drive is on this side. Um, just a regular hard drive. If you need a solid state drive, you know, to speed up the computer, uh, this is where you're going to replace them. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. So you need to remove the yellow tape. Uh, this yellow tape here is somewhat just holding on to the clipper and you need to flip open that white clipper so that you can remove uh, the cable okay once you have that done the hard drive will just come right out just like that it doesn't have any screw that holds on to it and as you can see the LED is still attached to to the bottom with this tape. You can remove it, replace the hard drive to a solid state drive, uh, install a fresh brand new Windows 10 um, and all the drivers, you should be good to go. Oh, Alright, so let's move on to the rest of the cable. Uh, again, you need to remove this. So this one here is the touchpad cable. Uh, it looks like this is the keyboard, and looks like this is the keyboard backlit lighting. Okay, so once you have that, and I believe this is the um, USB port on the side, or maybe uh, your audio, your microphone and speaker, headphones, yeah, on this side. All right, so all the cable is is removed here. It's good, and let's go ahead and remove the LCD uh, forty pin connector. So you need to flip that black uh, clipper and slightly pull that cable. All right, so that's how you put it on the other side. Let's come back here to work on this. Again, you need to flip that clipper, which is the white one for this, and remove that cable. Uh, this is for your Ethernet and SD card. Alright, so we pretty much have most of the cable removed. Uh, let's come back here and you can see that the fan connector is, is kind of underneath, but we'll try to get to it in a minute. And the last one is, I before I missed out, is the, uh, is the power, power cable. Okay, this one is to press and power on your, your laptop, so make sure you have that removed. All right, let's go ahead and work on the motherboard. Let me angle it position. You have screws here. Okay, let me make some room for the pad. So there's one screw here.
finally the last cable is on the top gonna work on the Wi-Fi if you want you can make a note um, the black one is for the black cable and then the white is for the white so you can just put B and W at least you know where the cable goes after Alright, so let's go ahead and work on the fan. Okay, so the motherboard is about to come right out. Just be very gentle. So I did not pull all the way out because there are two more cables attached underneath the motherboard. You need to make the motherboard loose at, uh, at a point that way you can go in and remove it. So this is the uh, CMOS battery. Alright, so this is for the CMOS battery and this is your speaker. So what I did is I used my two finger nail, go on the both sides, both sides of the um, the connector and pull towards myself. All right, so you flip it around, and here's your motherboard on the other side of it. If you want to add more RAM, there you go. All right, so these are the DDR4 RAM. It says eight gigabytes. 8 GB is 8 gigs PC4 there's a DDR4 RAM okay uh, I think right now it's 16 8 and 8 you probably can go I don't know maybe 32 16 and 16 but 18 gigs of RAM I think is more than enough in my opinion but it's all up to you um, also here has a built-in M.2 SSD drive so this is 128 gigabytes. So most of the operating system, um, the program files, everything is installed in this M.2 drive. Um, this one here at the bottom probably is the secondary drive, right? Remember we removed this. Um, I'm not sure if they split the um, the Windows, the C drive, uh, the program files and the Windows, the System 32 maybe on a regular hard drive but it's your it's your choice you want to change it out uh, you can or you can add the uh, higher uh, capacity for the M.2 drive uh, you can do so from do on the motherboard here okay so uh, pretty much it's straightforward like this and this is how you disassemble them um, let turn it around so let's get back to this point here I'm going to replace the fan, right? The fan is making a grinding sound to it. Okay, so this is the fan, um, as I predicted. Hope you can hear it. And this is normal. Okay, so um, I'll be re replacing the fan. I don't think I'm going to replace the heat sink. Um, just because the fan you can actually um, open up the screw I'm not gonna do this on the video here but um, I'm just gonna explain alright so um, you need to remove the screws one two three four 
once you remove that four screws what happened is that the the back on the uh, the fan is going to come right out just the fan itself you know what maybe i'll just show it to you uh, since it's only a four screws very simple okay and of course you need to disconnect the uh, the fan cable first okay Uh, sorry about that the camera battery died so I need to recharge it um, let's continue back to the fan so you need to re remove five screws right so the five screws are the one that's holding the fan uh, one two three four five okay so there are five screws once you remove them and remove the cable okay once you remove the cable the fan would just come right out in other words you do not need to replace the entire uh, heat sink uh, for the fan you can just buy the fan like this and replace them so this fan here is making the grinding sound hope you can hear it this one is just fine and as you can see it, it, it spins a lot smoother and this one here is kind of stuck alright so what happened is that the ball bearing um, here on the fan I think the ball bearing here is just kind of like stuck uh, it's not spinning well so I'll be replacing this fan it comes like this and once you get the new fan uh, all you need to do is just install make sure the cable go underneath from the back okay and then once you have that um, in place the next thing is to just put the screws back on and there are five screws that hold on to the fan okay so I explained on the fan part the motherboard and I guess the next I will try to explain it to you is the keyboard replacement for those guys who wants to do that um, just by looking at it it doesn't seem like the keyboard is separate uh, there's no separate screws that holds on to the keyboard uh, to me it looks like the keyboard comes in one piece together okay it looks like the keyboard is one piece together with the laptop so in other words, you may have to replace the entire um, the palm rest and the keyboard together uh, as in one piece for the keyboard replacement. So the keyboard replacement is pretty much you're at that point. You just got to remove the three screws here on a hinge on both sides and that you would separate the LCD. Uh, you would separate the L LCD and the keyboard. So this is it and I hope the video helps. Uh, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up, comment below and I'll see you next video. Thank you.